So explain to me where we are right now geographically. We're we're uh, we're in what's called the Abuvian region of Armenia, which is about uh, 30 minutes uh, north of uh, the capital of Yerevan. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you see is this mountain steppe habitat that's in front of us here, which is home to one of the fragmented populations or isolated populations of Armenian viper. And as you can see, it's kind of saddled in between a number of little communities and agriculture down here in the valley, agriculture up here to the side of the ridge. So really the snakes are dealing with all of this, you know, human encroachment. Um, but what we're really finding out from at least last year's movement data is that what they're doing here actually may not be hurting the snakes in a big way, that they're actually mm -hmm. uh, creating more usable habitat. Down in these agriculture areas, they've piled up stones. You can see some of them down yeah. there in the field. And so the snakes, by the end of uh, June or so, are down at the foot of this mountain because they're just now starting to come out of hibernation now. And what's the advantage of being down there in terms of, for example, the prey that's available to them? Well, this, this agriculture down here is a kind of a polyculture of grass species, you know, and attracts a lot of rodents. One of the things that we're interested in finding out, in addition to seeing what the movement patterns are like for the snakes, is really to try to look at what are the genetic relationships. Mm -hmm. on and the that only side. way you can do that is by sampling in each of these sites taking blood, doing a genetic analysis, and then doing a systematic comparison. And that's correct. And, you know, I think the other thing too is what we're really trying to look at now is what's called the landscape genetics approach. And what that basically does is takes, looks at how the landscape not only impacts the movements of the snakes, what their overall home range size ends up being, but how does it impact gene flow too. So you try to tie all those things together. And in this case, look at, well, how does agriculture mm -hmm. actually impact? It's kind of our ultimate goal is even though we're, you know, focusing on what is the ecology and the genetic structure of the Armenian viper really like? It's going to have a bigger, you know, bigger implications for all the species of wildlife that live in this region. Well, let's slip down and see if we can find some snakes. Okay. This will be a good, I think this is a good starting comparison for when we go down to the southern part of the country, uh, work our way down there tomorrow, and you see what the population is like there, because that's more of a subalpine population of Armenian vipers, very isolated. There's no communities around like we see here. There's no agriculture. So it's going to be a very different look. And one of the things, we're planning to put a few transmitters in those snakes this year, and the rangers that work down there in Chicaho Reserve, we're going to have them do some monitoring. Watching where I'm walking, I don't know about yeah. you. <laughs> but of course, they would sense our vibration, so it's unlikely. Yeah, you're going to probably really hear them hissing one. and crawl, you know, see them crawling away more than anything else. They're, like I said, they, I think being that this is very open mountain step habitat, that there's, you know, they, there are actually a lot of aerial predators here, different types of hawks and, mm -hmm. and uh, eagles and that. And so actually anytime they sense motion or see any kind of shadow, they're pretty much taking cover. They're not going to sit right in front of you. So. so we've done an awful lot today, but what you have to remember is that these studies have been going on for six years now. We've been gathering data from all over Armenia, including this very special field site, analyzing that data and coming to understand a really fascinating species, one that you can see at the zoo.